Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. If you watched my previous video where I rebuilt the head in my Taiwanese Tarrant Mill, you will know that I made a replacement of these plastic bushings for the variable speed pulleys. This is a very common problem with most variable speed Tarrant Mills and unless you can buy spare parts for your mill, you will need to make replacements yourself. The good news is that despite the thin wall, they are relatively easy to make. So this is what I'll be making the bushings out of. It's Nylatron plastic. From my research, this is the material to use for the bushings. It's fairly commonly available. I found this on eBay. And to machine plastic, you basically need some very sharp high-speed steel tools. Or, if you prefer carbide, then some aluminium inserts with a good positive rake. Now these are very sharp inserts and they're CCMT and this is a diamond tool holder with a high speed steel bit both freshly sharp let's get going so I'm going to part it off over here I've calculated that I've got enough here for two bushings and some wasted plastic where I'm holding it in the chuck. This is my first time machining plastic and one thing that I learned very quickly was that unlike metal chips, these plastic chips don't break up and they can really wind up on your tools and even spoil apart if you're not careful. So I'm quickly grabbing that string and pulling it out so I don't have any problems. So now that I've got it bored out to the right size, I'm going to turn down the outside diameter until I can produce this lip on the plastic bushing that keeps it inside the variable speed disc. And then once I've done that, I'm going to be very carefully machine it down to the correct diameter that is needed to keep this tight and not loose and once we get to that diameter it's going to be very thin so you really need to make sure you've got a very sharp high speed steel or carbide tool and take very light cuts as it's very easy to deform
Now you'll notice here that I'm using a special wall thickness micrometer as using a standard micrometer or calipers can actually deform the part when it's so thin and give you a false measurement. Well that's it for this video, the bushings turned out great. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.